Hello! In this video, we are going to do an introduction on how Google optimizes storage on persistent disks to increase database performance and why we can disable safely the double write feature in MySQL, even though everybody recommends not doing it. Having that in mind, we are proud to announce that in the past 12 months, the performance of Cloud SQL for MySQL and Postgres has doubled. According to the benchmarks, when moving from 128 to 256 threads showed a performance change of 1,500 TPS to 3,000 TPS. Not bad. It's not enough to show performance. More importantly, it's to show consistent performance. One of the keys to get this type of performance for your own deployments relies in setting some custom flags or system variables. For instance, inodb log file size, inodb IO capacity, and max allowed packet. To understand what which of those flags and system variables does, I recommend you to check out this URL. The results are incredible. All the scatter performance points seem to now converge to a better alignment. And when you have your configuration set just right, you get results like this, where scatter performance converges to a more consistent alignment. The main factors driving this change in performance lie in disabling double writes in the inodb engine. I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing something that everybody recommends you not to? Why is Google taking such a risk with my data? The secret has to do with understanding how block sizes influences performance at each layer. On the first layer, we have the persistent disk allowing 16 kilobytes as physical block for writes. On the second layer, we have the ext4 file system using a feature called Bigalock that allows for 16 kilobyte cluster sizes. This is why the 16 kilobyte instance allows us to disable double write safely. The third layer involves our container optimized OS. You may have heard about it in Kubernetes. And at last, we have MySQL inodb configured to have double write off and to use the odirect as a flush method. In a simplified way, these four layers are the key components of the 16 kilobyte instance. Our engineers work in collaboration with multiple teams to make this happen. If you want to know more details on how we did it with confidence, watch the talk. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to take my word for it. Our benchmarking code is open sourced as PerfKit Benchmarker. It can be found at GitHub and will let you compare performance for various products across several cloud providers. Check out the full talk for more in the trenches details and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great next rewind content. <music>